All right, disassembly of a Philips EKG. This is a Page Rider TC70. Uh, somebody just on MedRidge was asking about how to pull this thing apart. So, first thing I'm going to do, pull the battery. I'm going to push these little white guys down to get the string the battery out. to hold this. Ah, there we go. Inside there is, let's see if I can show it to you. There's a piece of plastic in here you gotta pull. And we'll remove the keyboard. If you can see it, flashlight here. So, see that thing with the bumps right there? You gotta push that up so this whole handle pulls out, and that's how you move the keyboard. There you go. Let's see, so you're reaching in pushing this in while you're pulling this over. And that's how you remove the keyboard. Now you've got access to these screws. This you just put a screwdriver. Now let's pull these screws first. So on the back side, see this? You gotta pull these out. I just pull off the screwdriver, nail, whatever. You have access to these screws. These are T10 Torx. Once again, trying to hold the camera and do this stuff all at the same time. Okay, now put it back around. I'm going to cut this guy off. See the little clip in there that kind of holds it. I like that. Both sides. So once you get those, there's three. One, two, three. This comes off. Pull this cable. And now I'll pull these screws. You can take the top off. And then these screws, and this one back here, will get the top cover off. And so these hinge screws, you can see this is a T15. Be careful of this cable. All EKGs, even the old Mac 5000 series, had a rolled up cable. It's very fragile, it's weak. So be cautious with that. You don't want to damage that, put this whole stupid thing back together and find out you've broken the cable. I got a whole other jet thing to deal with. Make sure you're supporting the back display before you pull those screws out. Uh, also, I'm gonna break that. Okay. <clears throat> There's that. Now I'm back to the T10. Get this guy right here in the middle. There's three up here. Now I can 
be able to remove the top section. There we go. Now you've got access into the guts. Paper tray. Tens, I'll get to the boards down here. I sent you the manual. Thank you. What do you mean you sent me the manual? I haven't sent it. So I had a discussion about a manual for a sterilizer. Cable. We're going to pull this. Phillips has always used really cheap connectors, unfortunately. And these break too easy, so be careful with them. That's the way everybody's going these days, isn't it? Uh, cheaper and cheaper materials. More profit. Alright. Here's your main board. Communications. It's everybody. Hope that's uh, everything you needed. I mean, you can figure out the rest. Here's a printer motor, thermal print head, battery casing, there's your boards. That's all there is to it. What else there's to show you here? Uh, if you want to take the display apart, pull these. Let's get you the screws and the whole thing comes off. Okay? Hope that helps.